All right, we are now moving on to a single purchase counterweight system. Uh, this is what you will most commonly find in a theater. Uh, almost all theaters are going to have this except for a few that have either gone to a double purchase, uh, old systems that are still a hemp house, or brand new systems that are a motorized system. Uh, this has a few of the same features as a hemp system, but then it also has some key advantages over a hemp system. Uh, so we'll just start at the beginning and walk through all of it, and then I'll show you how it works. Uh, first up, we're going to start with a batten. Just like with a hemp system, a batten is the pipe that hangs out over the stage. Uh, this is going to be above our fly loft that is uh, upstage of the proscenium and it's going to have a batten that runs the whole length of the stage. And while we've got a fairly short batten here that only needs two lift lines, uh, you're typically going to see a batten with four to eight or nine lift lines uh, is usually the range that they go. Uh, but fairly straightforward, and the only difference here is we only have two lift lines instead of uh, four to eight-ish. Uh, so, our batten is what we hang the scenery on, and we'll show you that here in a minute. Uh, from here, we've got our lift lines that go up to our loft blocks. Uh, once we get to our loft block, then it's going to redirect all of this back over here to our head block. Uh, this is where things are different from a hemp system. Once you get to the loft block here, uh, instead of it going down to sandbags as the counterweight, uh, you're going to go down to what is called an arbor. Uh, it's usually this big metal frame that you're going to put stage weights on. Stage weights are also known as pig iron. Uh, if somebody calls it that, uh, they're probably really old, uh, but it means the same thing as a stage weight, and a stage weight is just a big fat hunk of metal uh, and it's been carved out to fit into this iron frame. And those are going to weigh typically somewhere between 20 and 32 pounds. Uh, and just like with a hemp system, you need to have the same amount of weight over here on your arbor as you do here on the back. Uh, with this, and this is where it is different, is with that arbor, uh, it is also connected to its own closed loop of a fiber rope that is a hand line. Uh, typically, your hand line and your uh, arbor line would be flipped from what I have here, but I'm making do with what I've got. So typically, you would have your batten over here on stage, on stage right, uh, and this would be over against a wall. Uh, the arbor would actually be attached to a track on the wall, and that's what it slides on. And these two lines would be flipped, so as I move this, I'd be pulling my hand line closest to me, and this arbor would be moving over here, but that doesn't quite work with my setup. So we're going to make do with what we've got. So with this, I'm over here on my hand line. Uh, these usually have a nice big red break on them. All that is is a handle that goes and clamps down along your rope, so that way it keeps it in place. Uh, this should not need to hold the weight of what's on that batten, because it should be balanced over here on the arbor. It's just there to keep things in place. If you're doing a couple lights or a little bit of scenery, uh, it'll hold it if it's out of balance until you can rebalance it. Uh, but for the most part, these stay in balance, they should stay balanced, and that is the safe way to operate this. So when this is ready to operate, I would release my brake. I'd come over here, I'd pull on my hand line, and as my arbor goes up, my batten goes down. And in contrast to that, arbor goes down, batten goes up, but what you'll notice is the same direction I'm pulling my hand line 
is the direction that that baton will move. So if my hand on the hand line is going down, so is the baton. Uh, you can also see that this is a fairly straightforward one-to-one -one system. So what that means is if the baton is right about this level here, as I go down, this will, the baton will go down at the same rate as my hand line. So you can see that baton stays pretty well in line with my hand as I'm moving this here. Now, if I go and take this all the way down, I can go ahead and clip on my scenery here. And now you'll notice I've got roughly nine pounds worth of weight in that bin. And so I'm nine pounds out of balance here. If I try to take this up right now, not so bad since it's only that nine pounds, but in this system, if that was more, it would want to pull itself back down and it would be batten heavy because I have not equalized it over here. All is, if I take some of my stage weight here is what this is going to represent. Load it into the arbor while it's up here in the air. Now when I go and try to move this, it's a lot easier to move because I'm a lot closer to being balanced. If I could maybe try taking that guy out. a lot smoother now that I'm balanced out. Uh, so you'll also notice that once this baton is down on the ground, uh, nice. that helps out a lot too. So I'm going to go and put my baton on the ground. I am baton heavy and I want to equal that with my arbor and you will typically load an arbor from up at the grid. That's because that is where the arbor is going to be. And if I load a thousand pounds worth of scenery over on my batten, I do not want to be over here on my hand line trying to pull down a thousand pounds worth of weight uh, and get all that thousand pounds up in the air because if I were to let go of that, then I've got a thousand pounds coming crashing down to the ground which is the other thing we definitely want to avoid. So that is why if you have a single purchase or a double purchase system, we'll talk about that here in a minute, uh, you will be loading these from the grid. That is the best way to do these and the safest way to do these. Uh, that being said, you've got somebody that's probably 50, 60 feet above you uh, handling this big 30 pound hunk of steel as a weight. Uh, you want to pay attention to that and you want to have good communication when that's happening and make sure that people aren't standing down here by the fly rail as they're loading that because if they were to drop something down there it's got 50 or 60 feet worth of momentum to go and catch that all the way down to the ground and at that point even something that's a 30 pound block of steel bounces far. Uh, and there's a good chance that if you're in the vicinity, uh, you're going to get hit by something. Uh, also with that, you want to make sure that your scenery is well secured. Because uh, in this instance, say I've got some weight here and some of my rigging here fails. All of a sudden, this thing is going to become arbor heavy. Arbor heavy is especially scary because I've got all that weight over here on my arbor, it's going to come crashing down to the ground. Usually after that crashes down to the ground, all of that will break apart, all that weight falls off, and then I've got this steel pipe that's now 50, 60 feet up in the air, 
and then nothing over here is going to be holding it, and then that's going to come crashing back down over stage as well. Uh, that is uh, one of the terms that we call a runaway, uh, something that's very scary dangerous and we want to avoid that at all costs. Uh, and if you ever hear somebody yell runaway or anything like that, you want to get away from that stage as quick as possible because a lot of bad things are going to happen and you probably cannot get clear fast enough. But you're going to make your best efforts and try to stay safe. Um, Beyond that, everything is fairly straightforward. It's just a bunch of pulleys. It's nothing too scary. It's just making sure that your batten side and your arbor side are all balanced so that it can handle what you need it to handle. Uh, I think that's where I'm going to stop my single purchase system. Uh, let me know if you have any questions about it. Thank you. All right, this is a close-up of my single purchase system here. Again, we've got the batten that all the scenery will be attached to. We've got our lift lines travel all the way up to our loft blocks. From there, the lines are redirected to go over here to our head block. Uh, again, all of this would be one big grouping of pulleys together but I don't have that luxury here, so this is what we got. And please pretend that it is one big, massive uh, set of pulleys right here. So you'll have all of your lift lines come into this big head block, and then you also have your hand line that also wraps around that whole system. From there, your lift lines and your hand line go down and attach to the top of the arbor. The arbor, in my case a bucket, is what receives all the stage weight to balance the weight that is here on your batten. And then from there, your hand line is a closed loop that goes all the way back around and attaches to the bottom of the arbor. So no matter where it is, you've got a hand line to pull it up or down.